In this video, we're going to review how we're going to customize your inspection form. This inspection form was designed specifically to allow an end user with no coding background to be able to update and customize a ServiceMate form to fit their workflow. Not only will you be able to take this template as a starting point, it will also generate a PDF based on your responses. First, let's start by opening our form. I'm going to go ahead and make this window a little bigger. Starting from the top, we have our form name, simply called inspection form. This you can customize to whatever you would like, and it will be the name of the form listed in your forms list. The badge name is limited to 10 characters, and it's just simply a quick name for your form. Next we have badge requirements, where we have optional, or make this a form that must be completed upon check-in or check-out. For the moment, we'll leave this as optional. Next, we have our list of form questions. When we select a question, we see it's the actual question name. Now, this we're actually going to leave alone because the field codes are already embedded into our document. And by changing the question name, it will make those codes unusable, resulting in your responses not showing up in your form. Below that, we have additional details. Think of these as a subnote to your question whether this question is mandatory or not, the type of question, and particularly in multiple choice, you have the option of entering in some choice options. And below we have some conditions. And then down here we have the conditions, which we'll talk about here in a moment. The first thing I want to mention is the form name. This is where you're going to update the multiple choice question one with the name you want to have on your form. The name you place here will be the name that shows up on the PDF output in the top right corner. In this form, you have the option of starting with your inspection findings or with taking photos. If you review the list of questions, you'll see you have 20 photos you can take and details about those photos. After the 20, you see your 20 topics you can notate. And then again, you see the photos. If you would like to start your inspection form, with photos, the first batch of photos will be used and the second batch will not be. If you elect to start with findings, the first batch of photos will be used and then the second batch of photos will be an option for you at that point. Overall, you can skip through all the photo content and move directly to your inspection topic questions. The first option you see after the photos is how many questions you have. Once you've filled out all your inspection topic questions, you'll just simply input the number of questions you have here. For example, if you only had nine questions for your inspections, you would just simply enter nine here. 11 through 20 will automatically be hidden and not be presented to you when you fill out the form. Starting with topic one, we see inspection topic one. Again, we are not going to change the question name. All we really need to do is update the multiple choice options, or change the topic type to a text field or whatever you would like. Keep in mind in the final PDF keep in mind that in the PDF that's generated, the topic questions and any notes to those topics are what are presented. So you want to make your topic question or your topic responses very informative. In this example, we're going to do a apartment inspection. The first question we're going to be asking is about the front door and if it passes inspection. So we're just simply going to say front door pass front door fail. And I'm going to copy the fail question or the fail response. The reason for that is in this case if this topic question is a fail I want to have information about why it failed. So if I go to my notes about inspection topic one, I'm able, I'm given the option to give text in a multi-line so I can add as much text as I need as to why topic one has failed. And my skip conditions here, we see skip this question if inspection topic one, so how is the door looking, does not contain no. Obviously that logic doesn't work since no is not given as an option. I'm going to replace this with front door fail. 
Now there's multiple ways you can do your logic here. I prefer personally to use this logic here. For some people it can be a little counterintuitive, but the reasoning is I'm only putting in here the response from the previous question which is going to allow me to land on this question. In this case, if the front door fails, I want to give a reason as to why. Any other response I don't need to notate. So for me, this logic seems to make the most sense. If you want to change the logic, you're fr you can fully feel free to do so. This is just a logic that makes the most sense to me. So I've already added this question. So the first question that's asked is, does, is the front door pass or fail? If I want to provide a supplementary question more than inspection topic one, I can do so at the additional details, such as how does the front door look? We can use that, we can choose not to, totally up to you. Generally speaking, and in most cases, the multiple choice options should pretty much notate or be clear enough of what you're looking for. I go to inspection topic two, and in this case, let's say we're gonna do the kitchen. Pass, kitchen fail. Again, I'm gonna copy kitchen fail, go to notes about inspection topic two, and I'm just simply going to paste that into my conditions for skipping. I would continue this and fill out all the questions I need. <clears throat> if I was to finish this example and I only have these two questions, how many questions do I have? I just see, simply need to update this to two. Let's see how this would look. So when I open up my inspection form, this question you can choose to leave or get rid of. It's just simply the instructions of how to build your custom form. I would have named this form. I'm going to start with my findings. We only have two questions. Does the front door pass or fail? Does the kitchen pass or fail? If I hit fail, I write my notes in. Do I have anything additional to notate? Nope. Go ahead and sign. And there we are. So looking at the form, only the two questions that we entered are added. So don't have a lot of dead space used by um, areas that we didn't fill out. Obviously at the top right, name this form. We would have customized with the form name. And once this is on your account, the company logo will be replaced by your company's logo. Thank you and I hope you enjoy your new custom form. And keep in mind, at Digital Data Design we are here to help support you and your company and we can further customize this form and any other form you would like to fit your specific workflow.